Hi guys, it's me, Claudia Velado, Realtor at Coldwell Banker, and your host of Homes 479. Today we're having the last installment of the long-term seller series. We started off with curb appeal, we moved on to um, having a professional evaluate your home, we talked about making the home more cohesive in like the kind of renovation projects you do, make, making sure that it makes sense. We talked about decor, especially regarding lighting and scale. Today we're going to talk about the backyard, or rather, the outside room. So I like to think about the backyard as not just some outside space, right? Just some extra kind of acreage or whatever. I, I want you to think of it really as a room, an outdoor room. Now, um, a lot of what I talked about in the curb appeal episode regarding plants and regarding ease of mobility, it applies equally to the backyard. So you still want to have trees, understory trees, shrubs, herbaceous plants, bulbs, ground cover. You still want to do that. You still want to have something. I think in the backyard you can get away with being a little bit less tidy than in the front yard. Um, but you know, you still want to incorporate that life, right? Some areas of sun and shade. Um, you also, like I said in the Curb Appeal episode, you want there to be ease of mobility. So there shouldn't be tripping hazards. You shouldn't have to like be like walking like a tightrope walker um, to get from one point in your backyard to another. It should be easy to move around and inviting. What I want to challenge you guys with is um, I want to challenge the idea that square footage is the most important thing. Instead, I want you to think about your backyard as an additional room and and no it does not count as square footage but outside spaces can and should be thought of as rooms of a house um, we're very fortunate here in arkansas we've got good weather actually most of the year so you want to think of your outdoor room as a place to hang out with most days really a part when it's like absolutely freezing ridiculously stifling or just um, raining torrentially, you know, or blowing like 30 miles per hour, right? Most of the time it's not like that, it's pleasant. So um, when you're creating your outdoor room and this outdoor room, it can be a porch, it can be a deck, it can be covered, you know, um, you want to think about a few elements. Um, just having a porch or deck is not enough if it's uncomfortable to be there. So the more inviting, the more comfortable you make this outdoor room, the more likely you are to actually use it as an outdoor room and the more likely a buyer is to see it as a real asset to the property. So you wanna think about comfort and in that is temperature. So you wanna have fans, um, nice, good quality fans. You wanna have heaters like a heat lamp or kind of outdoor weather resistant heaters that you put on your deck. You wanna think about light, both blocking light and inviting light. So um, for example, Western sun and it is usually very harsh. Uh, so you might wanna have some shades. You might, might want to ensure that trees grow in a certain way to provide shade in the summer. Um, similarly, you wanna hang out there at night as well. So do you want a fire pit? Do you want um, some lighting so that you're not like in a dark cave outside when you're when you're there? You want to also think about mosquitoes. We do have mosquitoes here and bugs uh, for a good four or five months of the year. So you want to have maybe a screen porch. Maybe you want to have fans that can blow the bugs out. You want to have maybe thermocell, things that will um, limit um, the number of bugs in your outdoor room. And finally, you want to consider atmosphere. What feel are you going for? Do you want this to be a cozy place? Do you want this to be grand, formal, or intimate? Your choice of furniture um, and accessories um, will reflect that. So, you know, just putting a table and chairs out there is not enough. You've got like a beating hot sun on this like weathered deck that is kind of wobbly and you might fall off 
and some metal chairs that burn you and you sit down. I mean, you are not creating an outdoor room, you're creating like a, a torture chamber. So instead, pick furniture that you'll actually wanna sit in and that you'll want to invite people to sit with you um, and create a, a room just as you would a living room. You wanna have an outdoor rug, you wanna have lamps that can be outside, you wanna have other kinds of chairs that you can move around, candles, incense, plants, all of this to bring life to this space. All right, guys, that's it for the long-term seller series. If you've got questions, please, please, please call me. See you next time. Bye.